I met him <laughs> after being celibate for six months. Uh huh. And I was a tad bit horny. It was winter time. <laughs> well, here you go. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. 41-year-old Deshana met 53-year-old Shelby in a bargain store almost four years ago. The pair hit it off immediately, and Deshana even asked Shelby for a kiss that same night. But now, after only six months of marriage, Shelby wants to shop down a new aisle for love. I met this southern man in Detroit, and he wooed me. Yeah. And it was wintertime, and he brought me something to drink, and kind of, uh, that was all she wrote. She says, so insecure, always accused. I can't even go to the, can't even go to the grocery store. Deshauna says she deserves a husband who will appreciate her. Today, on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Deshauna Rose and Shelby Rose. Mr. and Mrs. Rose, you have been together for three years. You have been married for almost a year, but you only managed to stay together about six months. Have I got that about right? Correct. Okay. Uh, you do not uh, have any children together, but you do have um, a child from two children from a previous relationship. Correct. Mrs. Uh, Rose, you have brought your husband here seeking $500 for a laptop computer that you say Mr. Rose took from you when he moved out. And we will talk about that momentarily. Before we do, however, Mrs. Rose, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here in divorce court today? Well, we're here today because my husband does not know how to communicate. Okay. He decided to leave the marriage after six months after the first altercation that we had. Which... If we could just talk about things, he would, we would still be married. Yeah, we we when you say a, lack of communication, we communicate. what are you trying to talk to him about that he doesn't want to engage Everything. you in? Everything. I can ask the man what he wants for dinner, and he says, you just asked me that yesterday. You supposed to ask every day. I, I'm here to cater to him. That's my husband. I want to fix what he wants to eat. Whether I want it or not, I'm here to let him know I'm here for you. And the feedback that I get is like, why do I even care? Please. Well, now, Mr. Rose, she says you got communication problems. Well, what do you think your problem is? Because six months isn't a long time to remain married. Well, like she said to my mom, I left her one episode, one bad thing. One bad yeah, thing. Yeah, one problem, it's been, and you no, one problem. It's been more than one. No, we're I'm speaking of we're speaking of the six <laughs> months that we were married, not the three years we've been together. Oh heavens, yes, there were issues before we oh, got married. It's especially been more, on your it's been more than Mrs. one Mrs. issue. Other than communications. <laughs> What problems do you have with Mr. Rose? Judge. She talked too much. Why Listen, listen I'm, a, I'm a younger woman. Obviously, he's attracted to younger women because he's an older gentleman. <laughs> Obviously, you're 41 I'm, and you're 53. Obviously, yes, I'm attracted to older men for their discipline. I, I, might, I might have made a misjudgment because uh, I didn't give him four seasons. I met him <laughs> after being celibate for six months. Uh -huh. And I was a tad bit horny. It was winter time. <laughs> it was winter well, there time. There you go. There you go. You're That's talking it. to me. I mean, I, I understand that. Talk but the rapport, man out of the rapport that we built and the person that I met, his heart, yes. I seen something inside of him to give him a chance. Right. I gave him a chance. He seen what he was dealing with. This vulnerable woman, and as a man, forget that he's 53, he acted like he was 23 because he took advantage of that. I mean, nah, if he on. didn't take advantage of it, why, yeah. why did he leave hey, it six hey, months? I got a question. You act like you 13 and, and maybe it's just me. Six months of celibacy, that's not that much. It that was for much. me, Judge. <laughs> Is it? It, it was it, for me. Really? Yes. <laughs> it's like that. It was? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I think we yes. need to embrace the concept of I don't need some all the time. But it, it, Well, it's... Judge, listen. I took that six months to get to know myself. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't allow myself any more time because I met this southern man in Detroit, and he wooed me. Yeah. And it was wintertime, and it was getting ready to be a snowstorm, and he brought me something to drink, and kind of, uh, 
That was all she wrote. I didn't have to twist your arm to drink it, though, did I? No. Now, now, now Mr. 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 Shell, Mr. Rose, <laughs> what do you see as the primary problem in the relationship that you have with your wife? The main thing. She's just so insecure, always accused. I can't even go to the grocery no, no. store. My time. Can't go to the grocery store or to the gas station to pick us up whatever we want or whatever I want or whatever she want. Call me on the phone. What takes you so long? It don't take that long to go to the store get a loaf of bread. Not true. That's yes, not it true. is. You know it. He, and he's, then text. He's on my I said, wait a minute. Okay. Well, this time me talk, please. That's what I said. You talk too much. She'll talk a dead man out of his casket. Yes, she will. I love her dearly, but she well, talked okay, to her. Okay. Ms. But Mrs. She Mrs. Rose accused me of everything. She, she, she's insecure and she accuses you of everything. I can't let's, even go let's church. Let's talk about that for a minute. When you first met him, you say it was a snowstorm, there was some liquor involved, and next thing you knew, you two were in a relationship. In a relationship. He moved out of his Can apartment and moved in mine. Can you explain that to me a little bit? The first date, what did he do that made you melt like that? The man that I was meeting in Detroit. They, they weren't leading to anything. So when I met him, and he it was, was from about down, something. He, he had was from down south, he had and his character was different from what I was used to. Mm -hmm. So I was, you know, I was, I was wooed by it. Well, you he, had a man he put the macaroni on you. He was courteous, and, he and was you kind. Got, yeah. he, was, he was attentive. Right. And you were oh, in a lot of that. No, no, no. Okay. When did what? you first realize that it was, pro things were problematic? When did, when did things first go south on you? The, <laughs> the season of summer. When Divorce Court continues, is Shelby holding out on Deshauna in the bedroom? I asked my husband for foreplay. <laughs> my husband looked at me and told me, when I get good and god darn ready. Divorce isn't easy. Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back in the case of Deshauna Rose, who claims her husband refuses to satisfy her sexually. I'm 12 years older than you. Mm, okay. I mean, when I was in my 20s and 30s, I might have did, It was another, did, another but... matter. What happened in the season of summer? <laughs> I introduced him to my circle of friends. We yes. were married okay. then. Right. I introduced him. This is my friend. At the time, he wasn't, you know, my husband. He was just my friend. I'm dating him. So the older man, Shelby, found himself uh, comfortable around him. He would drink around him. Mind you, Your Honor, they're nowhere but outside in front of the house. I could see them. Mm -hmm. So he would get up in the morning and go play his lottery by 11 o'clock. Uh, I may get up and do whatever I'm doing, and he won't return until 2 o'clock. No communication that I'm out drinking with the fellas right across the street, so I'm dialing the number. I don't number. need to communicate I'm right across the street. You look at me. I'm dialing a number just to communicate. You know, you know, what's up? Where you at? Are we going to plan something today? Do you plan on being out there all day? Mm-mm. I'm getting angry. I didn't call three times. I'm looking out the window, and I'm watching you ignore me. I'm heated. I'm texting you. But you saw him. But that I'm wasn't right the point. The I wanted to communicate with him. Me and him. the fellas drinking I saw him, yes. talking. Well, I didn't want to see him. He didn't talk have his, your girlfriend. Couldn't it be that he didn't have his phone on? I mean... He had his phone on, Your Honor. He looked at it while I was calling. Then turn it off. And turned it off. Is that what you did? I will, because she... Far as here to the bench. Lack of communication. She can see me right across the street. Me and the fellas, we just standing around talking. Well, if having... you knew she was trying to get a hold of you, but wouldn't, I just I haven't on, been gone 15, just... 20 minutes, so we can talk about this in a few. You know, I'm not gonna be there all day, and well, we right now, across the street to look at each other. You're not gonna be there all but, day. But you if you pick if up you... the phone and answer, what is it, baby? Blah blah blah. But blah, if blah, it was blah, something serious she wanted, she all she had to do was walk right across the street, hear the joke. Honey, come here. Let me tell you something. I wanna ask you something. But no, you calling because you... She mad because I'm across the street. I'm around you 24-7, because at the time I was unemployed. So y'all just at the and, house? And she at the house, unemployed. I well, don't want to sit up under well, y'all Mrs. Mrs. Rose, I understand you. Just you like say your sex life is less than satisfactory. Why don't you explain that to me? <laughs> I asked my husband for foreplay. <laughs> my husband looked at me and told me, when I get good and god darn ready, I said, what you mean when you get... This is a lack of communication, something that I want to talk about. I said, what do you mean when you get good and god darn ready? Shelby, foreplay is something that both of us should be agreeing, saying, 
before we have intercourse. Right. She you ain't said, no worrying, no problem about no sex woman. Let the beat you, you up. You don't have no it. problem with it. I had a problem with it. That's why I asked you for foreplay. I don't just want to go in there and lay down and let you do what you do and then I'm to be finished. Okay, but you okay, do what you do. Okay, okay, okay. Well, too much information right there. Well, then that's what foreplay come in at. <laughs> Hang on. I started this. It's my fault. Lord I'm gonna let you respond. I'm sorry, and then I wasn't trying on. to go through. Okay. But it's, it's as simple as I asked did him. She, did she communicate to you a lack of satisfaction with your, your, your intimacy? Did she ever tell well, you that? Uh, not about the intimacy, but the, about you know, uh, maybe foreplay sometimes. Well, that's what I'm, I'm trying to be gentle. Sometimes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'd, I'd be like, I said, look, I'm 12 years older than you. Mm, okay. I mean, when I was in my 20s and 30s, it I might have did. It was nothing but, matter. But, and then, you know, I'm trying to make her happy, so. Mr. Co Mr. 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 Let me Rose. get it to you when you want it. Okay. When Divorce Court continues, is Deshauna being unreasonable about Shelby's lottery winnings? I gave her $800 and she got mad and looked at me like I was crazy. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Deshauna Rose, who claims her husband's lack of communication skills has ruined their marriage. But will Shelby be forced to pay Deshauna $500 for a laptop she claims he took from her? When he decided that he wanted to leave, that's the only thing that he decided he wanted to take from me, was the computer. I hear you won the lottery, Mr. Rose. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. How much did you win? This particular time, $5,200. $5,200? Mm -hmm. Did you share it with Mrs. Rose? Yes, I did. I gave her $800, and she got mad and looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> Talking about this all I get. I said, well... Mrs. Rose, did you get mad because he only gave you $800 Yeah, I thought she lottery figured lottery she money? should get more, but oh, I'm yeah, paying all the bills. Oh, yeah, I expressed my emotions about that. $5, what did you think he should give you? You said you wanted a new wash and dryer. We had already we got you discussed that. how much money he was going to give me and what my what things he was going to buy around the house and car and, I did. and all of this. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He turned around and gave me 800 He didn't say, well, I'm going to do this, that, and give you me You know good well I paid I said, the rent. We didn't discuss this. You said you was going to give me the such, such a The washroom dryer you wanted. Uh, and I got uh, it. What else you wanted? A bedroom suit? He said suit? he was giving me more money than that bedroom because set? of his lack of communication. Yeah. Right, right. You, That's more than $800. You discussed with me what you were going to give me, and when the time came and I had something to say about it, then it's a problem. But 800 wasn't enough. But all the rest of that stuff Did you, you got. two people really try to be married? I tried. I mean, I think you got married, and, and it was like, oh, now what? I, did you really, did you really make an I effort I out it? on the marriage. He did. And I'm here did today. You make I'm a here true today effort? because of it. Did I you called. make a true I'm effort yes, to be married? Yes, ma'am. No. What, what, went, what was so bad in 180 days that made you walk away? When she quit a job. No. They always got walked, money coming in That's not what you walked away yes, before. No, it's not. That's one of the main reasons. When you quit your job before well, you got you your... Think he before left? you your got... Your Honor, before he left. You Mr. Got Rose, your, hang on. Why do you think he left? Your Honor, he left because I have two children. I have two girls. When I invited him into my world, I told him what I was expecting and what I was looking for. I didn't want... That's why I was celibate in the first place, because I had uh, a two-year-old at the time. Uh -huh. So I wasn't trying to bring men in and out of my house right. for the sake of the girls. So when I met him, by him being an older gentleman, I disclosed to him what I was looking for and what I was expecting in this right. relationship. I have a teenager now at this point. He's not giving me respect or her respect. He's running around the house calling me, you know what, names that the children shouldn't hear, cussing, if I cry, he calls me a crybaby. If I'm sitting back crying about what happened to me when I was a child and I just need your shoulder to cry, you know, I don't want to hear all that. I'm going to the store to get a beer. When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn advises Shelby to grow up. She disrespect me. But you're not 12 anymore. You're 53. 53. It's, but always time I was 52. it's always a tit for tat. It's always a tit for tat. Divorce Court returns in the case of Deshauna and Shelby Rose, who are pulling the plug on their marriage after only six months. How long were you two dating before Three you got married? Three years. Three years. Didn't you know that he cursed a lot and, 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 yes. and all of that she when, when you were dating anytime. him? I'm the one been in Marines. She can out-cuss me any day. I grew up in Detroit. 
I know. She can curse good. I mean, she can call him. What? She can curse better than I do. Back to my daughter. Yeah, well, he, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. He had the opportunity to discipline her. Right. Um, her attitude was only in response to him disrespecting me. Because I couldn't understand why she had such an attitude around the house. Because she couldn't stand the fact that I allowed him to talk to me like mm -hmm. that. And I, when he you walk away, I'm crying and I'm hurt. But I play the role when he comes back around like, nothing's wrong, I'm OK. Because mm -hmm. talking to him only makes it worse. I think you we do had... speak out of, out of turn to her. And don't you think that the, that, that the daughter is taking a, a page out of your book when you disrespect her? That teaches her what to do. Hello. But I haven't disrespected her in that. But you are oh, when you yeah, talk to me like yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, you have. She disrespect me. But you're not 12 anymore. You're 53. 53 but it's always time a tit for tat. It's always a tit for tat. He's a tit for tat 53 year old man and talking about some nah. <laughs> That's what he likes to say. I said, Shelby, why you do that? Yeah, because I wanted to. Nah. Okay, um, was that the final straw for you, Mrs. Rose? I don't have a final straw. That's why I'm here. Your Honor, we. <laughs> Two weeks is our one year anniversary. Right. I saved the top tier of our beautiful wedding. So you think this re relationship can be saved? If he gets some help. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Rose, I don't know. Well, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I. I mean, and I'm a big fan of getting married and staying married, but marriage involves a lot of different layers of but, abilities but, that I'm not seeing any of here. May I say something, I, not, not yet. You have to have, you have to be going in the same direction. You have yes. to have the same wants and desires. You have to have an ability to communicate. You have to have an ability to disagree and come up with a solution. I'm not seeing any of those kind of workings here. He's just out and about bouncing around. I ain't and, bouncing uh, nowhere. No, no, hang on. You're trying to head somewhere. You thought you got an older guy who had some direction, but that's he. You know, you can't go by the resume. You got to go by what he's doing. And 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 uh, a few yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, good, good manners, and that does not a good husband make. You don't need a man at all until you you right with yourself. I, I agree. Tell me about the five hundred dollars you're seeking from Mr. Rose, well, Mrs. Rose. Um, back to the lottery. He gave me eight hundred dollars and uh, redid the house. If I said I wanted a new couch, he got a new couch. I wanted a washer and dryer so I didn't have to go to the laundromat. He got a washer and dryer. Whatever I wanted, he got. Right. OK? So I said I wanted a computer. I'm starting my own business. I don't want to run to the library. He got me a little laptop, or a little red rap laptop computer. When he decided that he wanted to leave, that's the only thing that he decided he wanted to take from me was the computer. He no, decided that no, he didn't take no. anything else? He, no. Uh, the, uh, he took his weed whacker and his orange extension cord. Weed whacker? <laughs> that's his. An orange extension cord. And, and that's my only two. And, that and, and his clothes. Which was mine. Mr. Rose, And a TV, you, one of the Mr. TVs Rose, I bought. Mr. Rose, Mr. Rose, what is your response to that? Why, why don't you think you should pay her for that computer? Why because. Did, why'd you take it? The computer, I bought it, is for us to use. I bought it. She ain't put a dime on it. Ask him I didn't buy the computer and said, Deshaun, this computer is for you. This computer is for me and you. You didn't buy you that computer. I. You didn't you and didn't buy that computer for me. The computer other, for me. Her daughter had a computer which her mother gave her for Christmas sent to her. So we got two computers in the house anyway. Right. Now, how you do you two figure? Computers in the house? I bought a computer for us to use. I got it. I got it. I got, I got, it. got to leave I got it with it. you. I got it. Thank it's you, mine. Ms. Mr. Rose. Uh, here's the thing. You, 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 you rattled off all of the things he purchased for you. Mm -hmm. And then you said when he left, you took a weed whacker, <laughs> uh, uh, an orange extension cord, and the computer. Mm -hmm. He's entitled to at least that, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. There will Thank be no you. recovery in this matter. <laughs> it is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. Deshauna and Shelby remain separated and living in different cities. Deshauna says there is no chance for reconciliation. She feels the judge put things in perspective for her and she is ready to move on. She even threw away the wedding cake she had been saving for their anniversary. Shelby says that he would consider reconciling after Deshauna's child moves out. <laughs>